Web Ship Broker, Shipping Education on the Web. The United Nations Convention on Contracts for the International Carriage of Goods Wholly or Partly by C-2008, also known as the Rotterdam Rules, is an international treaty that seeks to harmonize and modernize the legal regime for the international carriage of goods by sea. The Rotterdam Rules aim to provide a uniform and predictable legal framework for the contract of carriage, thereby facilitating the flow of trade and ensuring greater protection for the rights and interests of all parties involved in the international carriage of goods by sea. The Rotterdam Rules make several important changes to the existing legal regime for the international carriage of goods by sea, including Definition of the contract of carriage The Rotterdam Rules define the contract of carriage as the contract between the sender and the carrier for the carriage of goods by sea. This definition clarifies the obligations of both the sender and the carrier and provides greater certainty in terms of the parties' respective rights and obligations. Time limits for claims. The Rotterdam rules introduce time limits for the submission of claims, which are intended to provide greater certainty and reduce the risk of disputes. The time limits for submitting claims are set at two years from the date of delivery or the date on which delivery should have taken place. Carrier's liability. The Rotterdam rules limit the carrier's liability for loss or damage to goods during carriage to an amount that is either specified in the contract of carriage or determined in accordance with the provisions of the convention. This limit of liability is intended to provide the carrier with a measure of predictability and certainty in respect of its potential liability. Electronic communications. The Rotterdam rules acknowledge the increasing use of electronic communications in international trade and provide for the use of electronic communications for the conclusion of the contract of carriage, the exchange of information and the submission of claims. Multimodal carriage. The Rotterdam rules provide for the regulation of multimodal carriage, which refers to the carriage of goods by a combination of different modes of transport, such as sea, land and air. This provision is intended to provide a uniform legal regime for the regulation of multimodal carriage, thereby reducing the risk of disputes and facilitating the flow of trade. Consignee's right to deliver. The Rotterdam rules introduce the right of the consignee to deliver the goods to a third party, provided that this is done in accordance with the terms of the contract of carriage. This right is intended to provide greater flexibility for the consignee in terms of the delivery of the goods and to reduce the risk of disputes. Dispute resolution. The Rotterdam rules provide for the resolution of disputes arising from the contract of carriage by way of arbitration or litigation. This provision is intended to provide a clear and predictable framework for the resolution of disputes and to reduce the risk of lengthy and costly legal proceedings. In conclusion, the Rotterdam rules represent a significant step forward in the harmonization and modernization of the legal regime for the international carriage of goods by sea. If they come into force, the Rotterdam rules will provide a uniform and predictable legal framework for the contract of carriage, which will facilitate the flow of trade and ensure greater protection for the rights and interests of all parties involved in the international carriage of goods by sea. Thanks for watching.